Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on how to use GitHub Copilot in Xcode at Simply Learn. In this video, we are diving into the incredible world of AI powered coding with GitHub Copilot in Xcode. If you are an iOS or Mac developer, then you must be knowing the efficiency and innovation of your workflow. GitHub Copilot powered by OpenAI is your AI programmer that can help you write code faster, debug smarter and turn ideas into reality with ease. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, we'll start by introducing GitHub Copilot and why it's a game changer for Xcode developers. Then we will talk about the installation process, set up Copilot within Xcode and show how to harness its powerful features. By the end of this video, you will not only know how to use GitHub Copilot in Xcode, but also how to maximize its potential. Now, before we move on, just a quick info guys. Simply Learn has got applied generative AI course which is going to equip you with the skills to deploy generative AI techniques in the real world scenarios. You will build a holistic understanding of applied generative AI from mastering concepts like GANs, VAs, prompt engineering, to exploring advanced topics like LLM, application development, RAG, and fine tuning. So guys, hurry up now and join the course. The course link is mentioned in the description box. So guys, let's start with GitHub Copilot. But let's first understand what exactly is GitHub Copilot? GitHub Copilot is an AI powered coding assistant which was basically developed by GitHub in collaboration with OpenAI. It integrates with various integrated development environments or IDs such as Xcode, VS Code to basically provide you a real time code suggestions and auto completion as you type, enhancing developers' productivity and streamlining the coding process. It was initially released in 2021. Copilot was powered by OpenAI's Codex model, a descendant of GPT-3, fine-tuned for programming tasks. GitHub announced Copilot X, incorporating a chatbot based on OpenAI's GPT-4, along with support for voice commands and other advanced features. So basically, Copilot is your AI pair programmer, which helps you in coding, basically when you are doing any project. So it helps in auto-completion, and there are numerous other features which we'll be exploring in today's session. Now, you'll be wondering what programming languages Copilot supports. So, Copilot supports multiple programming languages like Python, JavaScript, TypeScript, Ruby, Go, and it is compatible with IDEs such as VS Code, Visual Studio, NeoVim, JetBrains, and Xcode. It basically assists developers by generating code snippets, translating, natural language prompts into the code and offering context of your suggestions to expedite the development process. Now, if I talk about the latest development, so in 2024, recently a month back, GitHub announced multi-model support for Copilot, which is going to allow developers to choose from AI models provided by Anthropic, Google and OpenAI, thereby enhancing the flexibility and performance. If I talk about the pricing, so for individuals, it would be charged around 10 US dollars per month. And for Copilot business, it is around 19 US dollars per month. And for enterprise level, it is around 39 US dollars per month. So you can see how the feature is. So you have to just put your credit card numbers and all the details, put your username or email address, and then type your password. And then just click on sign in. Now, after typing your email address and password, just click on sign in. And so after typing your email address and password, you'll be directed to this page. And from here, you can set GitHub Copilot in your favorite ID. So suppose uh, you want to set up in your ID, so just right click all over here and a new page is going to open. So now you can see what are the IDs they have. They have Azure Data Studio, JetBrains, Vim or NeoVim, Visual Studio Code. If you go on more, you would find it is VS Code or Xcode. So choose on Xcode. Now, we'll follow the same instructions. Now, what are the prerequisites? That's the most important thing to look for. To use GitHub Copilot for Xcode, you must have an active Copilot subscription. Means, you need to go onto the payment page and purchase the GitHub Copilot plan. So you can go for the individual plan, which is $10 per month. Then you have to also see that the Mac OS which you are using should be compatible with the Xcode. So your Xcode version should be 8.0 or above. And you should have a Mac OS version, Monterey 12.0 or above version installed on it. 
then only your GitHub Copilot X code is going to work. Now, how to get GitHub Copilot extension? So what you can do all over here? So you can go and uh, install this repository or this application. Okay, so just click all over here and you can see all over here that it will start downloading. So let it download since I have already installed this. So I'll show you how does it looks like. Now after installation, you have to give the permission. So you can see in the accessibility permission section, just go all over here and you can see I have access to the Xcode all over here. So you do the same thing in privacy and security. So guys, as you can see all over here, that uh, after uh, moving on to the GitHub Copilot, after installation, you have to grant the accessibility permission and also you have to grant the extension permission. So you can see all over here, I have already granted it. So you have to do nothing, just click all over here and you can see this thing will be present. Just add Xcode all over here, new Mac OS. And uh, the next thing that we have all over here is the extension permission. Now, if you see on the extension permission, I have added Xcode in our application. So our Xcode is set up with GitHub Copilot after installing this application, which you would be directed from this page. So nothing, just you have to go on uh, your own profile page. Okay, go into the settings and you will see the Copilot section. So download it all from here. So after clicking on this, you will be directed to this page. And from here only, you can download it. Now we have seen the how to install GitHub Copilot extension Okay, for Xcode. Now let us try to open Xcode and see whether it works or not. So guys, as you can see all over here, I have the GitHub Copilot extension available all over here. So let us try an example. Let us say, let us create an calculator app. So go on your Xcode and just on a new file. Okay. So this is a content view file. So I say create a view for calculator app. And after that, just click tab and you can see all over here that GitHub Copilot had started searching. After this, click again tab. Now let us create an application like calculator and let us Copilot to help me. So let us write a prompt, create a calculator app. Click enter, then press again tab. Click again tab, click enter. Then click on tab again. Okay, so as you can see all over here, it has started searching. Now click on tab again, enter. So as you can see here, GitHub Copilot has given us the first line of code. Now what we have to do, just click on tab. Okay, click again tab. Then click again tab. Now click again tab so you can see it is automatically you know completing the code so that's what's the beauty of copilot is we can say after few efforts the code will be completed for our this application let us type fast first repeat now one thing uh, with this is that for every time you want to auto complete the code you have to press tab so uh, keep that in mind and So I can see all over here, creating first row of buttons. So you can see everything is getting auto completed. Now, since it has said that it is adding button. So you can see it has given us the code. Now, so you can see all over here, it is going to create the second row of buttons. You can see all over here within just a minute, I could see Copilot has given me this code like within one minute. So Copilot has given me around 244 lines of code. There are definitely going to be some errors in this. So if you have a knowledge of this, you can rectify it. But still, it's very helpful when you are doing the programming. So you can see all over here that Copilot has given me these lines of code. And still the code is not complete because it is a pretty big application. So it's a iOS application which you are, which I'm creating right now. And in this way, Copilot can be very, very helpful in you creating any application or you're working on a project. So it has this autocomplete feature, which is so good and it helps in you in your performance and makes your coding much more productive. So guys, that was all for today's video. I hope so. You would have got a brief idea 
like how copilot can be an amazing tool for you thank you guys for watching this video Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.